live videos are a very big part of video marketing these days as YouTube live and or YouTube live streaming and Facebook live both allow you to stream your uh, videos live and enable you to uh, talk to people live and they give these videos a lot more reach, a lot more organic reach than regular videos that you record, pre-record, and then just upload normally to YouTube and Facebook. So it's beneficial if you can pre-record videos and then stream them live to Facebook Live and to YouTube. So I'm going to show you now using a free software. Uh, there's a paid version. for the, If you get the paid version, you can stream simultaneously to a whole bunch of different uh, sources and I'll show you how. It's called XSplit Broadcaster. You can do a search for it and download it. As I said, it's a free download. And then when you start off, you're going to have a screen that looks a little bit like this. You can go to the manuals and the tutorials here. I am going to show you uh, very quickly how you can easily start to stream your pre-recorded videos on Facebook Live and YouTube. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you're on a new presentation and then you're going to select your different sources. So if you want to have a screen capture in your recording, in your live recording, then you can do screen capture. If you want to do a game capture in your live recording, you can. And for pre-recorded videos, this is the one we're going to choose, media file. You can also do webcam text and other which includes image slideshows skype video video playlist uh, skype video you have to have the upgraded version i think that's not the free version and then here we have a very cool option called get more sources and you can see you have a lot more sources here that you can choose from and now output is where it's going to send the video. So when you start to stream live, where is it going to show your pre-recorded video or your webcam or your screen capture or whatever your sources are. So for outputs, I've already added one here. I've added one of my YouTube live ones for this presentation. And then I also have a daily motion one here and just check out all of these different output options that they have. A bunch of these I haven't even heard before, but we've got popular ones like Daily Motion, Facebook Live, and YouTube Live down here. So say for instance I'm going to be streaming to YouTube Live, I select YouTube Live as my output, or if I'm going to be going to Facebook Live, I select Facebook as my output. I just select it like that. So here you see when I select Facebook Live, I now have the option to authorize. When I click on it, I enter my uh, email and phone number and password. I'll go ahead and enter those in. And now that I'm authorized, you can see here post as, and then I can select which group, post as Brian Gray, to all of my different groups that I've got here. Here's two events. So these are all the different events on all the different pages that I've got going at the moment. Um, individual page events. So I can post as this page to this page's event. This is a, a business page. So I can post on that business page as that business page with the live stream. And if I wanted to stream to more than one of these simultaneously, then I would just, after adding that Facebook Live output, I would add another Facebook Live output and then just change what the output is to. Uh, just remember though, if you do more than one output, if you're going to be streaming to more than one group or more than one page simultaneously, you're going to have to get the paid version which I think is like $15 for three months, so it's really not expensive at all. Then you can have be streaming live to Facebook groups at the same time as Facebook pages, at the same time as Facebook events, at the same time as you're streaming to YouTube live, at the same time as you're streaming to Daily Motion live. So you can see how this can be a very powerful software. And it was originally created for 
uh, video gamers for being able to stream their video games. But I've found it to be a very powerful and handy marketing tool that a lot of people don't know about. And people are out there selling these software, claiming that they're the only way to post pre-recorded videos to Facebook Live. And I purchased one of them just to check it out to see how good it is. And it's definitely not as good as this free software, XSplit Broadcaster. So don't go spending money on software to put pre-recorded videos on Facebook Live. Just use XSplit Broadcaster free version. And then if you want to stream to a whole bunch of different multiple places at the same time, you have that option. I haven't seen any other software out there that is as powerful as this one for live streaming to so many places with so much ease for such a cheap cost. So after I have my outputs, I can select a different scene and then whatever outputs I have on that scene will change. So for example, on this output, if I put a media file, so let's go ahead and select a media file. I'll choose a video real quick at random. Okay, so here's the video and I can resize it. This is gonna be the streaming, how big it streams. So now if I were to select this video to play, it's on scene one. If I have another video I want to play, I would go to scene two, then go to sources, and then whatever that video is. If I wanted to do a screen capture on scene two, then I can put a screen capture, a webcam capture, text, or more sources. Or if you're a gamer, you can do your game capture as well. So then after you have your pre-recorded video loaded up into your scene one, you're going to want to make sure that it is your video is not playing before you start streaming. You want to start streaming and then play the video. So there the video is finished. So I would go to a blank scene. Then I would start just by clicking on the output. And you can see when I uh, select the output, YouTube comes up and then I can create a title for it, a description for it, tags for my video, what category, if it's a uh, public or private, and schedule it if I want. I can enable low latency, allow embedding, enable DVR, and I can start broadcast right now. And when I start the broadcast, then it's going to start recording. And as soon as it starts recording, then I would just go to my video that I would want to start playing. Now you're not hearing sound for this video because I have system audio turned off for recording, so it's not recording system audio. But this video, if it's streaming live, it would be playing the audio and people would be hearing the audio. So this video would be showing to people's Facebook Live, or actually since for this output I have a YouTube Live, this one would be streaming to YouTube Live like it's a live streaming video. And it is, but it's a pre-recorded video. And then as soon as it's done playing live, then I just stop the output. And that is it. So just remember, you just come to sources, select your media files that you want to use for the pre-recorded videos that you want to stream live, go to outputs, set up whatever outputs you want to stream to. Most likely it's going to be YouTube Live and Facebook Live, possibly Daily Motion Live as well. Then as soon as you're finished streaming, you just turn off the connection and you're done. And you can, as you see, you can use multiple scenes to stream multiple videos. So if you have like four or five videos you want to show back to back, that's no problem. You can just keep adding more scenes here. But if you want to add more scenes than four, if you have more than four videos you want to show, you're going to have to upgrade. As you can see, it's almost $15 for three months. So it's definitely worth it if you're going to be doing a lot of video marketing and if you want more exposure for your videos. It's also worth it for the free version to be able to stream to one channel at a time, stream to one output at a time like Facebook Live or YouTube Live.
because what I can do is I can just first stream it to YouTube Live, then as soon as it's done, then I stop it, and then I stream to Facebook Live. So I don't have to do both of them simultaneously. I can do them back to back since they're pre-recorded videos. But if I'm going to do like a screen capture and actually talk to people live from my desktop, then I'm going to want to stream to multiple at the same time. So check out XSplit Broadcaster, get the free version so you can easily stream pre-recorded videos to Facebook Live. Also, Facebook Live, normally you can only record from your mobile, but using XSplit Broadcaster, I can uh, record from my webcam on my desktop or my laptop or anywhere I want, and I can stream live videos from my computer directly to Facebook Live. It doesn't have to be from my phone. I don't like really like recording videos on my phone, so for me, this is a huge benefit. And there are a lot of tutorial videos that come with the XSplit Broadcaster. As you saw when I first started it, it had the option to check out the tutorial videos. So go ahead and check those out if you plan on using it and plan on doing pre-recorded videos streaming live on Facebook and YouTube because it's a, it's a very good thing to be doing. You're going to be getting a lot more organic reach on your videos if you do this.